I'm gonna just shoot it raw. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Ambrosia and I am the Eclectic Herbalist. In today's video, I will just be doing a run through or how to on how to make the two tinctures that came in last month's or January's subscription box for Apothecary at Home. I did make the nettle vinegar and the spring greens one. So, let's. Uh, so a little bit on each tincture. I have not tried them yet. I will try them on camera before we, either before or after, I'm not sure. But I don't know if you could see it, the color difference. This one was all of the herbs that we got in last month's box with the alcohol and this was just nettle with the apple cider vinegar. So it's like an like an ambery color and then just like a dark green color so the spring greens one it is just a detox in the guide it does say to take about one to two dropper fulls at least four times a day so I'm gonna take some I actually have my tea in here so I'm gonna put it Already in the tea. Boop. It tastes like the smell of hay, but that's probably because of all the greens, greens in it. Let's. I did one. I did one dropper. There we go. Can't taste it in this. And then also, the tea I'm drinking is the, um, the loose leaf tea that I got in this month's box. It was uh, for heart health. I forgot the name, but once I grab that, I will link that down below. But I did put the infused honey I made. Um, I won't be posting the infused honey video because upon editing, I realized my camera did not catch like a good portion of the video that I thought it did. So it's really just, you see me put the herbs in the jar and then it's me talking about the end result. So I thought I'd redo that when I do a different flavor, but I am using the infused lavender that I did make, or the infused lavender honey that I did make, and it's actually quite tasty. Anyways, that was the spring greens one. I cannot taste it in there. From what I did taste, it kind of tasted like the smell of hay. So now we're going to do, oh, it's all stuck at the bottom. Now we're gonna do the nettle vinegar. Nettle vinegar, for this one it says you could just drop drop it in your mouth or add it to salads. I'm gonna just shoot it raw. That one's tasty. That one's good. Definitely would make a bigger batch of this and put it for salad dressing, but it is delicious. The face was from the sour apple cider vinegar. So let's go ahead and get into the construction of both tinctures and I will see you guys when you return. Our first project is the Spring Greens Detox Tincture. Starting off, you will want one part nettle and nettle helps flush excess fluids from your urinary tract, which for a detox is quite necessary. Next, you'll want one part of red clover, and red clover acts as a great diuretic. 
Lastly, you will want half a part of cleavers, and cleavers is great for pulling toxins from your body. Like always, you will want to have your choice of solvent, whether that be glycerin or alcohol, brandy Everclear or vodka, it is your choice. And of course, you'll want the jar that you will hold your maceration in for the next four to six weeks. And your dropper bottle for once the maceration is complete. measurements I did just use a one teaspoon scoop and did about two scoops per one part and then one scoop for the half part and then I kind of doubled it near the end and then of course when you add your solvent make sure it comes up at least an inch above the herbs Be sure to give your maceration a good shake, focusing all of your intent into the jar. Now you'll want to strain your liquid from your herbs. Um, you will want to do this into a bowl. I'm not quite sure why I didn't. I just wasn't thinking. Sometimes when I'm doing a lot, I just don't think. But way easier to strain it into a bowl and then pour it into the funnel, into your dropper bottle. So don't mind me. What's weird is I was definitely having troubles doing this, but it never once dawned on me to grab a bowl and make it easier on myself, so I just, I don't know where my mind was this day. Also, as you can see, I did get a full bottle from these jars as opposed to my little mason jars that I had. To achieve the full benefits of this tincture, you will want to take one to two dropperfuls at least four times a day. I recommend adding it to tea. Our second project is a nettle vinegar and you will just need to fill your jar a fourth of the way up with nettle. For this recipe, I did use apple cider vinegar, but since it is a recipe that can also go as a salad dressing, you can replace the apple cider vinegar for white wine vinegar. A jar, of course. I used a two ounce amber glass dropper bottle, but like I said, since it can be a vinegar, you can use a bigger container as well. Make sure it's glass though.
to put a wax or parchment paper before you close it. I didn't have any at this time. Um, the only negative effect is it turned the lid green. I guess I don't really have much else to say since we kind of went over it all in the beginning of the taste test and the color difference. Um, I might have more to say later when I use them a little bit more. I do want to try and use this until it's gone, so I'm going to try and use this daily and test my results. And as always, just because these are my first ones, there are things I do plan on tweaking, so I will obviously make newer videos later down the road of those but that is all I have for today if you did miss out on January's unboxing where I did get these herbs and the guide to make these I will link it above or if you want to catch this month's unboxing video for apothecary at home I do have that up as well I will link it for you making outros is hard Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.